So now we're uh, we're 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 gonna we got a couple of things to do here. Get some lunch, and then we're gonna get on the road, and we're going to just outside Joplin. Yeah, um, Missouri, Missouri, and um, I've I've known of this car for a while. Yeah, you know, I, I and I, I uh, our mechanic, Kimmy Bill, obviously he he's known of the car for a long time because he actually took that it's old like picture. Like the 80s. Yeah, since the yeah. 80s, he's known Nick Taylor for a long time. So anyway, um, I actually was joking with Nick Taylor. I was like, man, I sure would like to have that car, you know, because then we would have a trio, 69, 70, 71 B-body Mopars that are all painted pink. And uh, we kind of laughed about it because I didn't think it would ever really become, come up for sale, you know. I mean, yeah. a lot of times those one of none or one of ones, people hold on to those. But um, the guy that actually restored it, I guess, sold it to... A guy that's become friends of ours. We met him at Meekum, but we kind of knew him through the grapevine. Yep. But we met him at Meekum, and uh, we started chatting with him. We actually bought one of his cars. Uh, unknowingly. He, unknowingly, went across the block, uh, no reserve, a little Barracuda. But anyway, um, it came up that he had bought this this '71 uh, Panther Pink uh, 440 Charger RT, and they only made one. Panther Pink 71 Charger. The only one made one big block, and what they make three total Panther Pink cars the, that they know. Well, no, I think the I think the Challenger is an L code, so it is a big block. This is the only oh. this is the only HP car. So this is the three. So the so the Challenger is a 383 I, two barrel. I'm just going off what Scott Lindsay said, like and the, four years ago. Right. I think he said it was a 383 two barrel car. And the duster is a slant the six. The duster is, yeah, the duster is nothing. It's not anything cool. It's still a it's, 71 well, and it's still pink. It's just not drivetrain line. This is the Don't only. Don't piss off all the duster people, bro. <laughs> Come on. This is the only pink HP car built, known in 1971. Yeah, known. Yeah, HP car. So, like. So, anyway, it's been fully restored. It actually sat next to our two 71 Hemi cars at McCacken. Yeah. So, we literally have pictures of it in, <laughs> and I don't... like, sitting there and i told you like five times we should try to buy that thing you're like nah nah it's not gonna be for sale i didn't think it would be for sale it's not be, well we both i mean as a joke like yeah you know, we didn't think you know once you once you buy that car you acquire it through the process of restoring it you wouldn't think a guy would sell it but he literally sold it right after mccaffin like we could have walked he up was, to him if we'd have known who he was well and and rick the guy we're buying the car from is buddies with that guy and that guy owns rick's old black white billboard orange interior 71 Cuda. Oh. So Rick knows that guy, they're buddies. I thought the black orange interior uh, Cuda is Rick's now. It is. Rick sold it to, to this, Rick sold it to, to I believe Matt Hindy. Matt Hindy sold it to this guy. Okay. And this guy knew that it was Rick's. So this guy was like, Rick was like, hey, I want to buy my Cuda back. This guy's like, sure. So he shows up to this guy's house to buy his Cuda back. Well, how much do you want for the pink car? Ah, uh, you know, for you, I'd sell it to you. That kind of deal. That's and, how I they mean, happen. So That's how they happen. Literally, and so uh, when I told Rick, I go, oh man, I joked about buying that car in McCack, and Rick's like, you wouldn't have been able to buy this car. So, and it's probably true. Yeah, and so that's kind of the whole... the Because they came over wanting to buy the pink B. Yep. Because the guy right? that we, yeah, had restored so. that was looking for another thing, to another car to restore. But anyway, if you know we're heading there to buy it, if yeah. we buy it, which I mean, we go we're there, buying, we're going there to buy it. We don't go there unless we're planning to buy. It. But anyway, we'll have we'll be the only collection in the world that has a '69, '70, and '71 pink, pink factory B-body. painted Mopar. Yeah, we're well, really factory painted Mopar, but uh, specifically B-body. Yeah, as you well, know, too. So, um, so I'm super excited about it. You know. I mean, obviously, it's not a Hemi. It's not a four-speed. You know, it's not even a console shift. You know, it's a column shift. Um, but the color. And no, yeah, it's, it's just still that's super cool. Just, it, yeah. I mean, you got you cruise control, air conditioning. I didn't even know it had cruise control. Um, one of my friends, uh, he sent me a, uh, a Shane. He sent me a, an ad or a, a, a write-up of it. You okay. Know, which I've seen on Nick Taylor's page, yeah. Panther, you know, Panther Pink form or whatnot, um, and it's got. I mean, there's so much documentation to this car. Oh, dude, the dude, build sheet, yeah. the, whole, the whole enchilada. Absolutely. Um, which I didn't really even know all of that because I hadn't really dove into it. Yeah. But again, 
I didn't think it would be for sale. I didn't think the guy would actually sell it. Yes. Just got done restoring it in 2023. Yeah. Like a year, and they, even a year and, ago. And Rick did tell me the AC works, the cruise control works. Like when they restored it, they. Yeah, I guess there's a little imperfection in the sticker or the decal on the hood or something it's like that. It's the scoop in the middle of the hood. I guess there's a little bubble or something in the paint. That oh, plastic. The plastic thing. thing. Yeah, I guess that. So like the black it. thing. Yeah. It's not even in the paint. It's a hundred dollars. And then Nick, because I had sent a message over to Nick. I didn't tell him we were buying it. I just because <laughs> you, you know, like, hey. I mean, I you know, you, everybody knows somebody that knows somebody. So you just yeah. have you know, you got to be careful how many people you tell something until you actually have it in your hand. Not that there's anything. I mean, I don't yeah. think Nick would ever. It's just you know, us being but paranoid. We've had, we've it, had it happen. Before. We've had yeah. it happen. Um, so I sent him a message, just asking him about the restoration. You know, just was he was he because he saw it at McCacken. Was he, you know, happy with? And he's you know he's stickler for how it's supposed to be. And he said it was fantastic overall. He said there was a couple of things under the hood that are wrong. You know that you know they didn't have the parts in time or whatever, so they had to just finish it up. And that the the wheels should be painted black, not not body color. Yeah, it's got now, full it's got full wheel covers. So around the outside edge of the wheel cover, you can see the paint. So that, they should be black. They should be black. Okay. Man, I throw me some pink steelies on it and call it a day. <laughs> Pop those but off. And put I'm not a, covers on I'm it. not like you know as much of. Yeah. It has to be a hundred percent OE, you know. So um, as most Mopar people are. So, but anyway. Yeah, so super excited to see this car, or buy this car, or pick this car up, and add this. This will be a not for sale, you know, car. This will be a car that'll be in our in our collection with with uh, you know the the other rare uh, muscle cars in general, not just Mopars, but yeah, our other rare cars. So. Let's take a look, let's go. Huh? Yeah, All right. let's, take, let's a take a look. Yeah. Oh, lordy, lordy. It's one of my favorite colors on the Camaro. This, they just sold, I was there at Scottsdale when they sold one, one of these. Yeah, I've had about probably six of those. I actually sold three of them at Meekum about uh, 10 years, 12, 13 years ago. Those are. Oh, okay. Three of those went through wow. Meekum. And yeah, that they, one. They're from Kansas City, so that, I know where a lot of them's at. Ah. That one was so brand new here in Joplin, Missouri. Wow. And a friend of mine that we restored Boss Nines and stuff, uh, Dick, his dad, drove that car back from Kansas City, drag strip to Joplin, Missouri. They loaded up six guys and no one of those country squires. Yeah. Drove to Kansas City because that was a promotion day, November, I think it was 7. 69 okay and they had all 96 of those cars there all 90 twisters there and dan stanley bought five of them but my buddy's dad he's still alive and he drove that car back to job how cool is that that's yeah. crazy then i love the car original stories. i love the i met the uh, original owners uh i've owned that car twice now that's the second time i've owned it but it was uh i met the original owners in 08 got a picture with them standing by and then wow. the guy Dan Stanley Ford, we reached out to him, Dan Stanley, and he is going to come get his picture taken by. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, That's very amazing. Cool. Yeah, how cool. 70 Chevelle. Right, yeah, it's LS6. That. That's a turquoise, misty. That was uh, Steve God, Conrad's that collection. That is gorgeous. These two were. Yeah, I think yeah, there's like three of those known to exist in that color, and that's the only four speed. Wow, that's a pretty car, man. And this is an L89 aluminum headed car. Four speed, 410 gear car. House interior. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. Steve Conrad is a guy that I get, you know, he passed away in 2020 from COVID, but he was the guy to get a hold of for NOS parts. Uh, okay. And so everything when he redid this one, both of them have NOS parts. They wasn't for sale at first. We definitely did lose a lot of people to COVID. Oh, we, we, we lost a few people that we know too. Um, so yeah, this is gorgeous. What an amazing yeah. color. Yeah, it's a pretty cool color. I don't think I've ever seen one this color, bud. It's supposed to be three. I didn't even know that no one it exists. Exist. Yeah, there's three. I didn't even know it existed. They say it's the rarest color on an LS6. We have a shadow 
gray right. 396 four speed numbers matching uh 70 ss but i've seen a few of those mm -hmm. but i've never seen i've never seen one this color very very pretty very nice looking car yeah, that's amazing. Both How long have you on this one? I just picking them up last really? week. Really? Oh yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah. Is this one be for sale? Oh, probably will. Okay. Yeah. We might. We we'd be yeah. interested in I'll see hearing a number on this. The um, yeah, the guy that we bought that Ram Air four from last year and restored and took to uh, Meekum, that brought like four forty. The same guy had these. Oh. Is that the convertible or is that a hard top? No, it was a hard top. Hard it was top. a Ram Air four. Oh. I was thinking GTO. Gotcha. Yeah, no, it was a t 69 the, TA. Yeah, the, it was the there transient. at Macat or at. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not as familiar with Pontiacs and. Yeah, I'm the, not either. That, that's not my. I'm not there either. she is. <laughs> yeah. No, this one. I know. That's what I said. I we know. built the clone to this. <laughs> I, I seen that. We're sending it across Meekum next month. Yeah. But we put a or it had a shaker head. We actually bought the car, um, relatively restored. Um, but it was black with, was it white seats in it? No, mm -hmm. it had leather. leather black interior. seat? Okay. Black leather. Yeah, and... Uh, well, so it's a, it's a... It's originally, it's an EV2 it's car. It's a real it's not, Hemi oh. Orange 383 four-speed black billboard 71 Cuda. Oh, wow. It's, so it's it a should really never have been car. done like that. Yeah, right. and it's it, numbers matching 33, numbers matching four-speed. Wow. So super cool. And then somebody painted it black. They pulled the 383 out, put a 528 Hemi in it. Kept the 383. So it's still with the car. The trans is numbers matching that's yeah. in it behind the Hemi. So yeah. it has the numbers matching drivetrain. Mm -hmm. The motor's sitting on the stand, all rebuilt, beautiful. But and, it, uh, they painted it black. Too far. And, it was yeah. too far for us to take it back. Yeah. yeah. And it had a 70 valence. We, we put the right valence in it and then did the organ interior, the white billboards, the vinyl top, louvers. You know, we just went. But we had seen this car. All the way. This, is, this, was yeah. the this particular car was the inspiration for our build. Really? We had did seen see this car. Macacken? We didn't actually, we weren't at McCacken, but that we saw year. pictures from Dalton taking them and he was drooling all over it and everything. And anyway, so. And then we saw it at the Matt's show, the Southern yes. Plains Mopar Fest. Very, very briefly. Yeah, we just walked there. up and saw it and that was yeah. it. But when we decided to make our, you know, to change ours up, we, we went with the orange. Mm -hmm. Well, it's black interior with orange seats, white billboards. Obviously, ours says Hemi on it and ours has a shaker, but. Yeah. Essentially, it's, it's, it's it, it was built off of this particular car. Yeah, the lady uh, uh, that I got it from, she'd had it, her and her husband, for probably 30 years, and a buddy of mine told me about it, and I got a hold of her, and it was um, just sitting on blocks, and the only thing I got with it was the numbers matching block. I mean, no main caps, rods, bearings, nothing. I mean, crank, ah. nothing. So it took me a couple years to locate that, and yeah. I finally had a chance to work on it, so I basically got it running, went through all the fuel, the brakes, and a, bu a buddy and I did, and got it running and driving and everything, and then I just decided to sell it. I couldn't, I couldn't give the car away at the time, That's and now there's like four people that won't leave me alone on it. Yeah. Pretty cool car. I mean, it's did, pretty cool. So did you have it at McCacken? Or? Yeah, I did. Okay, I, that was I put you. it okay. in the barn find there you at did, McCacken. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember seeing the pictures of Here's all, do you want to look at all the paperwork or you want to look at the car first? Whatever you want to do. I want to look at the car first. Tony, this is right telling you on the hood. Did you you got those pictures, right, that I showed you about the hood? Oh yeah, I got gotcha. you. That's oh, like, that's isolated. Yeah, okay. yeah that's it's isolated. not I mean it just nothing we something can't I, Yeah, it's something I noticed immediately when I went. So I was talking to Nick Taylor. Uh, he says the wheels are supposed to be black. Really? Yeah, they're body color, but that's supposed to be a black rim. So when you and see, and he it, was telling me it's supposed to be like lightly undercoated too. Probably, yeah. Yeah, there's a that's few little. What a stunning car, man! Oh my god, I, this the this color on this body is just incredible. Never thought we'd get so excited about a column shift bench seat. <laughs> Other than. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, the B3, yeah. the B3 special paint Hemi car is the same way. I know, but I'm just saying, I didn't think that on so that got, one either. So we've gotten that yeah. excited twice now for yeah. color shift. So, and, and it was on a 71, which I used to not even like. Air works, cruise works. Phil told me everything worked on the car.
Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's absolutely. I, I literally, we, I mean, I wish I would have seen it when I was there at McCacken. I don't we think just he would have sold it at that time. No, no, no. Yeah. Not even talking about that. Yeah. Just, just look it over. Just, yeah, because I'd wanted to see it for so long. And Nick Nick Taylor was there, and he was, um, you know, excited to see this car. And we had ran into a bunch of time and talked about it. But we were so busy with all the other all the cars that we had there. We had 10 cars there. So we were, like, all over the place with different things, and we didn't literally see the show. Like, I don't think I saw 10 cars at the show. Like, literally wow. saw them. Because we were so busy with all the other stuff, which was a, was a blast. We had a, mm -hmm. a great time. Um, but. Yeah, you can look in the trunk, all the spare. So is it truck. underneath is the yeah. same as the top, like, or is it undercoated? I think it's painted, isn't it? That went to oh, the yeah, Bahama it's painted. yellow car. No, it's if you it's put painted it body color. What's that? That went to the Bahama yellow car. If you just want to put it on there. Bahama. Which Bahama? The one that for you stole for thirty nine pounds. <laughs> <laughs> You'll make it up. If it I makes you, if it, if it makes make you, it up. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, we didn't know it was yours. No, it's Actually, fine. Meekum stole it. Let me see it. Yeah. I don't know how you guys go through oh, no that's reserve. So cool. Literally, that, that's that all was the tag that was on it from the guy here. Yeah. So if you want to put it on there, you can. Actually, well, if you we hadn't bought it, you would have got thirty seven thousand for it. Yeah. Or 36, because we were literally in the stands, up at the top, we see this little Barracuda come, and we hadn't even looked at the car. We, we walked it's, by and we go, oh, yeah, that's a nice oh, car, a, you know, we yeah, did on that. Yeah, if it went for cheap, which we kind of feel it went for cheap, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it was a good deal. And so we were up in the stands, though, we weren't even down there next to it, and all of a sudden we're bidding on this car, and we and we buy it, and we did, really like, literally oh. did, had not even really hardly looked at it. But we figured at that money... You can't hardly buy a project for twenty twenty five grand for a seventy one. Yeah. Even Barracudas. Yeah. That's any good. Mm -hmm. You can buy one for ten that you know yeah. that has nothing left of it. You know. If it makes you feel better, we're probably gonna trade it to my dad. So. Are you? Yeah, <laughs> his dad's, it's a good car. Uh, my dad is all. My, my dad sold his Cuda in 05 and he's always wanted another one. So. He saw that one, and it's got air conditioning and power steering, so it's perfect for an old AC's man. AC's cold on it. The <laughs> yeah. AC's cold on it, and like I said, the uh, motor just got rebuilt. Yeah, yeah. you told us. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, awesome for us, not awesome yeah. for you. Yeah, and then the uh, rear end's all brand new on it, too. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I kind of noticed yeah. it looked super nice. Late, uh, I think you told us about that when we were there, because yeah. we, we ran into you right after it had happened, and... And then I just, I, yeah. I didn't realize it was yours. <laughs> it happens, you know. Well, you guys roll the dice. I mean, yeah. you guys had what, 10 cars there? 60. Yeah. How many? Vince had 60. Yeah, they told us all, that. All he, the you, he had sold like 11 that day or something. Yeah. 60 cars? Yeah. There was like a, 60 cars? Yeah. There was um, all that Pontiac collection was his. How many of them sold? All of oh, them? Oh, he everything sold. Oh, he did no reserve on everything? Everything. That's How'd he do? Okay. I did okay. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll yeah, eliminate yeah, no, that. Yeah, no, he did okay. He did okay. You know, the Pontiacs were a little, little low. A little soft. How do you, logistically, how do you ship them all and then make sure they're all run when they get there and keep them all clean? Vince has his guys over there. Oh, he there, does, okay. And then I, I basically do them here. A buddy yeah. and I, I've, I've, he's got a little shop where... Aaron Greek, it's Greek's restoration. Like he'll do all the dirty work over there, motors and rear ends and trannies, and then we'll bring them over here and put them in. And but you know, them. there's always something that can go wrong. Oh, you ship 60 cars. There's got to be a few that are going to give you hiccups when they get there. What he's saying is, yeah, like you guys have the people auction. there to take care. Of, is there a mechanic there for him for 60, 60 cars, and it's just you guys? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> we're doing 11. We're doing 11. Glendale. We're bringing our mechanics. And we're, we're oh, yeah. tripping. We're yeah. like, no, yeah, we're freaked out, Just because we haven't done it a lot. You know, yeah. we've only sold, what, three cars at an auction total? Four. The two Impalas and the General Lee and the FJ. And the FJ. Well, we gave that away, so that wasn't really a sale. Yeah. Usually, anyway. Meekum will have somebody there to work on. If something happens, like yeah. if the battery goes you... bad or something like that, Meekum will take care of it. Yeah, yeah, but like we pulled the General Lee in and the freaking The starter, starter died the in the line. In the freaking line. And so I literally, they had to tow it in. The next day I came back with tools and a starter. And on the convention center floor in Dallas, I had to put a starter in it. So that's why we had, you know, we've had four cars that we've sold. We've had one bad experience. It's well, like, that it's Cuda, a heavy ratio. 
That Cuda had a uh, ticking noise when you fired it up. One of the lifters were bad. You know, just we tried everything. We tried to hone it, everything, put it back in, clean it, because uh, the car sat for probably Robert. 10 years over yeah. here in Carterville. And finally, he got down about two weeks before, and I'm like, I'm just not going to ship it that way because I don't want it to fire up and go knock, 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 hammer. So a buddy of mine in Claremore, he's got Wouldn't have made a difference with this cell because we didn't even hear it. <laughs> I know, but I, could, I couldn't do that. So I called my I'm buddy. I'm with you, and I'm glad to hear that because yeah. that's important. I, I, I called him, I'm, and this was on a Thursday, and I'm like, James, he's a big Mopar guy, and I'm like, man, I need this thing fixed. And he said, Rick, the only thing I know to do is put a new cam in it. Just bring it to me. This was on a Thursday. Uh, brought it to him Thursday morning, pulled the motor, tore the motor apart that night, had the machine shop next day and got it back. A week from, a, a week, was it? A week after that, Monday, told me to come pick it up. Cleaned it, detailed it, rebuilt the whole motor, went through it, honed all the cylinders, put a new camshaft, everything in there. Damn, Dad's going to get a new car. Yeah, almost. no kidding, dude. <laughs> new rear end, new that. All he needs is a transmission rebuilt. Yeah. And that's seemed... probably, the transmission probably lasts anyway. Probably fine, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> that's okay. awesome. All right. Anyway, back to, back to the car. Do we, do we know if it's original sheet metal? I don't know. Because it, I mean. Oh, the, I, there's pictures of the restoration of the. There. The, it's um, all, it's, the whole thing's painted pink underneath. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. But is that all? Is that original? It looks like it is. And like, look all the. You know, it's almost like some of the Hemi cars we have are too nice. Like the ones that we got from Oklahoma. Yeah, we. Be... Yeah, this is nice. I don't think we should leave that on there though. Well, I guess it's not in the moisture. Yeah. It's a sterile mat. It actually is that a sterile one. mat. Well, I don't know about Prime sterile, example. but... Yeah. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like to me, it's... It, it looks like they're done. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because that's kind of what I was thinking. Because it was in California forever, right? Is that where is that where Nick Taylor lived? Did he live in California? He, li he lives in California. Okay, yeah. He's been and in my he house. He owned this car for 30 years, so, yeah, look at the hair tray. Oops, I picture black. Oh, did I, did I miss it? So my, I was telling you, I think I texted you, but. Oh yeah, look, I mean, that, that was not a rusty car. Yeah. My mechanic, Bill, who lives in California as well, and so does uh, Nick Taylor, um, when Nick had that car, they they were they they've been friends for years. Nick they runs each other the Panther years. Pink Registry. Yeah, he runs the registry. The guy that used to own uh, the Pink car. car Registry. That's why we kept talking about Nick. Mm -hmm. And so when Bill came to McCacken with us, they got to meet up. They hadn't seen each other in like 20, 25 years. But anyway, yeah, that's cool. Bill took a picture. The picture. I think I sent you the picture mm -hmm. of that car, and it was like really one of the few pictures that were kind of out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, so it's been put up a, a few times, whatnot. I posted it yesterday, mm -hmm. but um, they met up after 20 something years. Um, and, and Nick had not seen the car until he saw it at McCacken and Bill wow. saw it at McCacken and then come full circle and we're buying it from you. That's so crazy. yeah. Yeah. These, th these cars got all kinds of stories. Yes, they you. do. Yeah. Here. And I think, so is it a pass? Pretty nice sheet. Oh, that's funny, somebody wrapped the whole thing in scotch tape or something. What is that? It is that? nice. Yeah, but why would they do that? They probably did it four years ago. Oh, that sucks. See, I was looking at this. I guess has uh, does have Dave Wise right looked at the car or just Galen? Oh. Just Galen? Yeah, just Galen. This is a crazy He did report, that though. report. Uh, Phil said it cost him four grand for for him to do this report. And Phil was the one that restored it or had it restored? Yep, a guy in Kansas City. Okay. Yep. And that guy's retired now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, when the first question I had asked Nick was, you know, like, you saw the car, because I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. But when, I mean, I saw it, it was sitting right there, but I didn't see it, see it. I didn't really look it over, because I didn't think we'd be buying it, obviously. I didn't think the guy would sell it, mm -hmm. honestly. <sighs> we need to get a new one of those made for it. Is it wrong? It doesn't have it. Oh, it I doesn't. wish they would have taped it off. So he bought it from Scott Lindsay. Yes, he did. we knew okay. he had owned it. 
But so there's about. Yes, oh, yeah, right. Nick's garage. Yeah. That's Nick Taylor. That's who we're talking about. That's that whole story you see online about it and all that. Oh, yeah, this is where I was just going to look. Yeah, so there's your engine number. Troy. Let me see this real quick. Okay. I want to yeah, see yourself. what does Scott Lindsay say he paid, he sold it for. Oh, oh shit. So is there actually anything on here that says that it's FM3 or no. it's just a special No, it's a code? different well, part yeah. number. Yeah, this 148. Yeah. And it'll say that yeah, right here. Yeah, we have another 71 special oh, paint okay. car. Okay. So. Yeah, and see, he just says, yeah. uh, uh, let's see, it's on this. Are you talking about this right here where it says special body paint? Or is there another one? Th there's a number here that, that's on there. Yeah, that the he, one. It's like 148. 148. Yeah, I think yeah. it's one. Right there. Yeah. 148. It's body paint. Special paint code. 19, oh, okay. So Galen must have some sort of some sort of reference. Or he's just or saying he's that just it saying is based on his inspection. Because he looked at it. Yeah. Which, I mean, is pink, you know? Yeah, but you know how people are. Everybody, it's, it is until somebody questions it you know and that's why yeah. we did what we did with our pink mm -hmm. uh 69 because it didn't it doesn't even exist you know it, it's not even fm3 it's just a pink it's not even panther pink so we took it to mccacken this year for the barn find section we took five cars to the barn find section we specifically went there for this particular car and i asked dave to come out and inspect it while it was there and so mm -hmm. he came out we did a whole video it's on our youtube and uh, he kind of crawls all over the car and he says it i don't know three or four times that it's undeniable it is what it is i mean like we have it on video we have it in a report we have mm -hmm. and that's all you can do because mm -hmm. once you go and restore it mm -hmm. you ain't finding none of the original stuff there you know? and that's why we so. love this one because nick has so many pictures of this freaking car all over oh, the yeah. internet that it's like undeniable yeah this car was yeah. pink you know yeah. and then obviously all the pictures in here and all that stuff yeah there's a guy, there's a guy there in miami oklahoma that's got a 70 cuda 440 air conditioning, Panther pink, white interior. Wow. Car. But that's a 70. They made yeah. 300 total, yeah. you know, or whatever. How many pink, pan Panther pink, and Moulin Rouge cars did they make total? I don't 300, know. 400? Uh, yeah, there's a. There's a couple hundred a few Challengers, of right? Or Cudas? I mean, I don't know the exact numbers. I'm just yeah. saying that. But three mm -hmm. and 71, right? Yeah. Is what mm -hmm. they think. It, it exists this is what they know yeah that they know exists and then we have one pink car in 69 so to me the the 60 the 69 and the 71, 71 is like the holy ground. that's what uh, really um uh is the unique part so Sassy oh so Grass i was wrong i was wrong so the 71 challenger is a 318 car and then and then there's a six cylinder duster so this is the only, only big block this is the only big block pink car painted and i painted pink car in 1971. yeah so that's extra cool. You were saying? Sorry. Sassy grass green? Yeah. That was a 71 color, right? Yes. Late 70s. We have a TA that's sassy grass. A 7. Okay. So there's some 70s that are sassy grass. Very well, rare, some, though. Some, some Roadrunners. I was going to say, I picked up a 70 uh, Roadrunner the yeah. other day. 33 yeah. four speed car. Oh, I think Dalton. Yeah, I think I posted yeah. something yeah, to Dalton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, that that's is really cool. cool. You never see, and there, you never see sassy grass no. B bodies. I mean, I've never seen. We've never no, found one. Yeah, no. Scott well, Lindsay. Scott. Scott Lindsay told Dalton there's a sassy grass V code seventy Cuda convertible that exists. Oh wow! Wow. Now like, Vince just bought a seventy convertible, uh, sassy grass white billboard white interior shaker car. Oh wow! That's how cool. many cars does he have? He said he was up to three hundred at one time, and he Man, sold a lot of them off. There's no telling one. He, you, you're not even he, sure. Yeah, I don't even. I, I like I said, I met Vince about two years over the phone two years ago and we just buy cars together and yeah have fun awesome. yeah have fun have that's fun that's what he says it's all about it's having fun yeah <laughs> i tell this guy every day <laughs> we having fun yet because if we're not we're out <laughs> yeah exactly exactly i don't know going around buying pink cars is pretty fun yeah this car's amazing man it's it, the the color on that body is just beautiful Troy, you want, if you really want to piss everybody off, you'll just pop those wheel covers off and put a center cap right on that pink wheel, like you want. Oh yeah, we're just gonna put poverty caps on it and call it oh, a day. Oh yeah. 
Except for we'll probably have to Stick paint the, the hubcaps on the shelf. Are you going to paint the wheels black? I, I probably won't do anything that's, to it. Yeah, that's what we're joking. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of the cars, I leave the way I get them. I mean, but, you know, a lot of the cars we finish, because we, we buy a lot of cars that are like, say that, 30 years later, still sitting in the garage. Somebody did all the work, got it painted, da, da, da. We don't go back and do it the way we want it. We just finish the guy's dream. Right. We just finish whatever it's at, and we just continue on. Because our goal is mainly to get them on the road. Get them back out there. Yep. Not the rare ones like this. This is, this is a museum piece. But like, you know, some of these cars out there that just need to be driven. Kind of yeah, like that. they just need to be on the road. They just yep. need to be driven. They don't need to be restored. Yeah. So. It's going to look really good next to the, I mean, we've already seen it, but next to the B3 car. Oh, when it was a macaque and you yeah. had them side by side. Because that car is gorgeous as well. It's a B body. It's the B. exact same car, but a Hemi. Really? It's a 71 Hemi. And Charger it's a special RT, paint car column too. shift. It's special order paint B3 blue, 70 color, 1971. So this, I mean, these are two of, I mean, I imagine there's not very many other special paint 71 Charger RTs. No, Galen's I, thing only says he's, he knows of two. Yeah, and I don't think it was including the blue one. Yeah, because I don't know if he had done. Yeah, so, ours is the only Hemi special paint. 71. 71. No. Yeah, known, obviously. Everything's I, I, known. I throw that out there. Or somebody will say, uh, oh, you never know what's <laughs> you know, going to pop yeah. up. You're right. My grandpa don't. has one in his bar. All right. Well, it's exactly what you said. We appreciate it, man. <laughs> yep. So You're quite we're welcome. here to beat you down to 50 grand. <laughs> All right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> thank you. You bet. Appreciate yeah, your Thank you, Rick. You're welcome, yep. Tony. Uh, Tony, awesome. do you think we can you, you start, can start it? it? Yeah. Just yeah, to make it. sure it runs? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. I promise you. I'm kidding. No, I'm, I'm, kidding. I'm back to But I'm sure he wants to get it on video anyway. Yeah. At least it's got good fuel in it. Yeah, yeah. it smells good for sure. Oh, we're going in here. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to eat. <laughs> let's oh, go no. in here. Yeah, let's I definitely go in here. In here. No, <laughs> just Mopars. We eat Mopars a lot, though. Oh yeah, we'd rather <laughs> go in here than go to eat. Mopar dust. That's the sassy. Yeah, it's been painted. Motor. It's got a 446 pack in it. The carbs and all that's in the back. What's it's your plan with this one? Put it together. Probably. Sell it. From what I can tell, I, I, they put the quarters on the back. This is really sublime. No. No. This is sassy grass. This is sassy grass. So that's why it's cool. Yeah. Or like in Dodge, like our TA. Green it's Go. Green Go. Yeah, that is super rare. I, don't, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I've. I, I know Danny had a convertible, 70 grows on a convertible. Sassy grass? I think that was the only sassy grass green. Where'd you come across this one? In Springfield. Okay. I told me about it. I hadn't talked to Basil in a long time, and I called Basil, and he's like, I said, well, I got a buddy that's looking for parts. All the grills been done. Grills all done. Oh, so it's got some parts. Oh, it's got all the six pack. It's got all the. Like I said, the grill, the little panel. Oh, wow. I, I, they it? did just skin it right I, Yeah, I was looking at that on the other side. Yeah, I, yeah. Didn't, I didn't even think about it. I forgot about B bodies being here. That, I have that panel, and then I have um, another front fender for it. And they built this, sorry, who, who's this for? Shriners. Shriners. The, like the men's group thing? Yeah, the men's group, the Shriners. Okay. They do the uh, parades with those little cars the they buzz around on. Yeah. Gotcha, okay. 
Yeah. And that is that like. And How I is that documented? The, just because I don't know. I think it's in the VIN number. Gotcha. Yeah. I, I, no, I just, I just. Right, you know. But, you might, can we open the hood? Is that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Shriners Hospital, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, not hospital. It's just the Shriners have their own, like their. Oh wow. Kind of like the VFW hall. Guys go down and get their own. Yeah, it, is, it's, isn't it like the Eastern so Stars and the and the Masons yes. and the Shriners? Yeah. So this, so it's a factory Cuda hood. Yeah, same thing as rally. same thing as the other little yeah. barracuda yeah, you sold thing. us. Same thing. Same thing. Power yeah. power yeah. top Cuda hood air condition. December tenth. Like I said, I got another Fender, for, and everything that I kind of I dug through it, Troy it, is it's missing the front grill because it was broken. I mean, just in pieces. Right. But like all the rings and you can open. Do you have the front like seats. All your trim pieces are there. You know, and I heard these are like this. Oh, crazy. on a convertible? Yeah, good luck. Crazy. Do you have the front seats? Yeah, they're over here. Show those. Actually, they're just, big just curious. It's in there at the bottom, but it's not readable. Yeah, that's a weird. I'd say he probably left it out in the, you know, the, and the just... rear end of it sticking out. And I have like all the. Like the seat belts are here, and I have all the emblems that he's taken off. I have all those over there right now. See, there's these fender well. Oh, usually they're stuck, sometimes stuck up in there, aren't they, build sheets? Yeah, that's where we found one on our 71 Butterscotch Cuda. I don't know if it matters so much, though, on a 318. No, I know. It would be cool to find out. I mean, Be in one of those the Shriners cars, though, that would be... I mean, it's like even the door jams are... Yeah. He kept it inside most of the time, but I think yeah, and the floors are there's a little bit in the floors there, he, but nothing he crazy. Got a black top put on it, but they're factory white tops. Okay, yeah, that's a cool car. We sold a gold 318 71 Barracuda convertible a couple years back. 